वरवीना मृदु पाणी वन रुहलोचन रानी यू हर्ड द सॉन्ग यस यू नो हु कंपोस्ट इट you know yes if you know very very good if you don't know that's the case with many of us who have studied the song but who don't know who the composer is which is very sad especially since it is such a popular and well beloved song the composer was born in 1520 so 16 17 18 19 20 more than 500 years ago and the song is still alive he was a mega superstar among scholars of advaita philosophy among scholars of sanskritam and so many other things but in carnatic music we sing this one song but many people don't know his name so he was appayya dikshita so please take 10 minutes 15 minutes half an hour and just search for appayya dikshita in google and just see what a great 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 legend he was and the song is on goddess saraswati goddess saraswati is pictured as sitting in a lotus so why not on a tree or in a pond or a, on a mountain or under a tree or in a palace no why does saraswati sit on a lotus so the reason is that saraswati being the goddess of learning music literature expression vidya vidya scholarship and knowledge can make us very arrogant so when we become very arrogant vidya devata is sitting on a lotus where the stem is very fragile so if we become too arrogant and our head becomes heavy the stem will break and we'll fall into the water and sink so that is why saraswati devi is depicted as sitting in a lotus so if you found this little bit of uh, information interesting please feel welcome to check out the membership inner circle videos in music box channel you can if you search how to join uh, the inner circle you can find uh, one or two videos especially one made by nisha mamen where she clearly explains how to do that already in the inner circle videos you can find uh, i had a teaching session and interaction in tokyo japan so normally as a carnatic musician there are some destinations where we frequent again and again so japan tokyo was not even in my mind as a place uh, that i would associate with indian classical music particularly south indian classical music but we had such a nice time so my teaching session and interaction in tokyo is already there in the inner circle videos and uh, i had a very 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 good innings in visakhapatnam i was invited again and again and again by different different organizations and each experience was unforgettable and very very nice so after my first ever concert in visakhapatnam which was i think 15 years ago something like that the next afternoon i had a flight but the audience was so loving they said we didn't get enough we want more of you so i said well you call me again i'll come they said no no when are you leaving tomorrow i said by 11 i have to go to the airport then the morning we'll all get together and have an interaction so i had never kind of sat on stage and addressed a gathering until then so it was a completely new experience for me but very very uh, unforgettable so again uh, that video of my first uh, not the concert but the day the morning after the concert i was constantly looking at the time because i had to go to the airport and i just made it to the flight uh, without missing it so these kind of and when my guruji dr mangalapalli balamurlikrishna sir uh, he had graced my house with his presence several times so there's a very 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 sweet video of him uh, interacting with uh, kartika tirunal the maharani of travancore in my house like that something some special things are already there and some more things uh, especially 
compositions and their meanings uh, already pavana guru pavana purale pavana guru pavana puradhisham ashraye that is already done so more and more of uh, these kind of things can be expected god willing so please feel welcome to check out and uh, join the membership program and wish you a very happy new year bye